everyone. Thank you for joining me at Hadley's Crafty Corner. Today I'm going to show you how to make a card using the Pagona Cricut cartridge. And we are going to make a dragon. So if we open up on page 34, we're going to cut out this dragon at three and a quarter. So let's get started. So we're going to use a black piece of cardstock and that's cut at 5 by 7 we're going to use another piece of black cardstock and that one is cut out at 3 and 3 quarters by 5 a gray cardstock which is 4 by 5 and a quarter and lastly the white by 4 and a half by 6 alrighty so we're going to go ahead and score the base using a bone folder to get a really nice crisp crease I'm going to put this aside here and now we're going to assemble our dragon and the colors that I chose was the gray, the black, and the red. So we're going to go ahead and put this together. We used a scotch dry adhesive. That's easy enough. Doesn't have to be perfect, just you know, get as many pieces as you can as this dries very quickly. Next, I'm going to add the little stripes, make sure I have it on the right way. Do, do, do. I often, often hum when I work, but I don't really consider this work actually. This is my fun time. But I like to do the fun hum songs. Don't ask me what I'm singing, but as long as I'm doing something that I enjoy, I like. Okay, so we're almost done with the dragon, so we're going to give it some eyes. So I'm just going to take my paper piercer and pierce a hole right here. And what I just used was the back of a, a stamp scrubber. It has this foamy thing, so it works, works well. I'm going to use like a silver brad for the eye. Alrighty. So, we're done with the dragon. Now let's do some layering. So, I've got the black card stuck again. So, what I'm going to do is round my edges. At least just one corner anyway. And I'm using a Fisker corner rounder. And let's do the white. The other black. And the gray. Uh, I'm not sure if I remember if I mentioned, but the cardstock that I'm using is Texture Cardstock by American Craft. Okay, so now we've got our corners rounded, and now we're going to do some layering. And you could just, I'm just using some dried snail adhesive here. You could choose whatever you may have. Layer that here. So now we're going to layer the black onto the gray. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a ribbon at the bottom. And we're going to adhere this to the main card. Okay. And next, we're going to add some foam dots, pop dots, dimensionals, whatever you may have in your stash to 
pop up this dragon to give it Yeah, that was my glue off the table. Okay, so I'm going to put the dragon... I want to say I'm going to position it like so. And lastly, I'm going to add the sentiment here. I don't have the dimensions of this. I kind of eyeballed it, but it's just like a regular stamp that says happy birthday on white cardstock and put a black uh, background for it. I'm going to put this a little off-center. like so. And I'm trying to decide do I want to pop dot it or let's see. Do I want to add pop dots? No, we'll just do some dry adhesive. And we're going to put your right here. And actually before we're done, I like, think I want to do some if I can find it, my white gel pen. And we're just going to add some faux stitching. Make sure we're starting from here. Let me try some that way. And we're done with the faux stitching, and that's it for the card. Thank you for watching. Bye.